Ladies and gentlemen, we have our Bachelorette. And it's... It's Claire Crawley? Well, this is unexpected. Yes, this morning the announcement was made on Good Morning America that 38-year-old Claire Crawley will be our next lead. And for a number of you who are newer to the Bachelor franchise, you might be wondering, just who is this new lead who seemingly came out of left field to land the role? Who's Claire? I don't know. Who's Claire? Fear not. Bachelor Fan Take is here to run down all you need to know about our new Bachelorette, her history with the franchise, and why you should care. So sit down, grab some tea, and catch up on the latest Bachelorette. Claire Crawley was introduced to Bachelor Nation during Juan Pablo's season of The Bachelor, where she quickly became a contender to win The Bachelor's heart. Now, as the season went on, however, it became painfully obvious that Juan Pablo wasn't going to become the fantasy prince one normally hopes a bachelor will be. And Bachelor Nation? Well, they quickly turned on Juan Pablo for the way he acted on the show. Nonetheless, Claire was one of the women who made it to the final rose ceremony. But the experience was not what she had hoped for. Not just because she was dumped at that final rose ceremony, but because of everything leading up to it as well. In one example, Claire and Juan Pablo met late at night, outside of any group dates or one-on-ones, and the two had a dip in the ocean where it was heavily implied that they, you know, did the deed. Which, according to Claire, was incredibly hurtful. As she stated to Amy Kaufman, author of Bachelor Nation, Inside the World of America's Favorite Guilty Pleasure, the reason she engaged in the late night dip was as a celebration for overcoming deep feelings of anxiety in her life. Being on the show, she was conquering her fears, and the late night dip was her wanting to celebrate that. According to Crawley, it was then the producers who said, hey, why not invite Juan Pablo into this moment? According to her, in the ocean, nothing happened. But once it played out, Juan Pablo approached Claire and allegedly said he felt guilty about their swim and didn't want his daughter to see it on TV. Claire then felt taken aback as it now seemed like he was saying she lured him into this when actually he happily agreed to it without hesitation. And this was not the only behind-the-scenes interaction between the two that caught Claire off guard. Upon reaching the final two, right before the rose ceremony, Claire, in a rare moment alone without cameras, asked The Bachelor how he was feeling. His response? I don't know. I liked f***ing you. The next day, she was dumped. And this famous bit of Bachelor history came out. What you just made me go through? Mm -hmm. I would never want my children having a father like you. Okay. But no, we're not done there. Claire then graced our televisions three more times connected to the Bachelor franchise. First appearing on season one of Bachelor in Paradise, where she quit in week five, and then again on Bachelor in Paradise season two, where she was eliminated in week six. From her time in Paradise, Claire is probably most famously known for having this conversation with a raccoon. That creates drama. I don't want it. Now, of course, Claire wasn't actually talking to a raccoon. This was some good old-fashioned funny editing on the part of the people at The Bachelor. But so many people took it seriously that she received messages calling her a psycho. Not fun. From there, Claire would appear on one more major Bachelor show. Bachelor Winter Games. Bachelor Winter Games. For those of you who don't know, Winter Games was thrown on TV in conjunction with the 2018 Winter Olympics, where Bachelor contestants from all over the world came together to compete in athletic trials with the ultimate goal of finding a luge partner for life. And when I say contestants were from all over the world, I'm not kidding. There was Kevin Wendt, who's now engaged to Astrid after they both appeared on Bachelor in Paradise. He was the winner of The Bachelorette Canada. We had German, Australian, Japanese contestants, all from global Bachelor programming. And of course, well-known American contestants were also on the show, like Dean and Ashley I. But for now, the most important people from Winter Games you need to know about are Claire, German contestant Christian, and French-Canadian Benoit. Through the first two episodes of Winter Games, both Christian and Benoit vied for Claire's heart. While Benoit was all in on Claire from the beginning, Claire didn't quite feel the passion and was more focused on Christian. I think you're the most handsome one in the house. No, I don't think so. I think so. No, I don't think so. From here, a very heartbroken Benoit saw the writing on the wall and he left. And Claire continued to pursue a relationship with Christian. But everything then falls apart when the two schedule a jacuzzi date 
and Claire doesn't show. Which, for me, is always crossing a line. You never miss a jacuzzi date, people. As you can imagine, after that, things were never the same between Christian and Claire. And by episode 3 of Winter Games, the two had split up and she left the show. But oh no, we're not done yet. Though Claire left during the third episode of this four-episode series, she arguably had the crown jewel moment of the whole show. As during the, uh, the, the after the, the, the final games? The after the final games tell-all, Claire said she was in love. In love with someone who reached out to her after leaving the show. Someone there in the room, Benoit. The two then get up and talk about how their relationship has grown since the show finished production, and Benoit, the hopeless romantic that he is, gets down on one knee and proposes. The room erupts, and everyone has a reaction like this. And they all lived happily ever after. For like a month. Of course, since Claire is now the Bachelorette, she's obviously single. Claire and Benoit broke off their engagement after just over a month. Since then, Claire has worked as a hairstylist in Sacramento, and has focused more on her career there than being a big-time social media influencer. Now, however, she's the Bachelorette. So, why should you care? Why should you root for Claire? One thing I will say is that as someone who's followed the Bachelor franchise for a while, I'm excited. Claire's story is another one of those that's somewhat unfinished. The timing just was never right. It feels sort of like this. But I bet Jim got the job. We just, we never got the timing right. But you know what? It's okay. I'm totally fine. Everything is going to be totally fine. Sorry. Um, are you free for dinner tonight? Yes. Well, now's the time. Though she often got the short end of the stick during her time in this franchise, here's her time to shoot her shot. Claire has been one of those faces that's just been around and never quite found that happy ending here. Sort of like how Bachelor veterans reacted to Chris Bukowski getting one more shot last summer in Paradise. Of course, it means this will all come with mixed reactions from people. Some will say, yes, she finally gets her chance, she deserves it. And others will say, her? Again? Why? Can't we move on? But I'll tell you why I'm taking the positive spin on all of this. One, this means the people at The Bachelor are showing some flexibility. It could have been extremely easy to pick Kelsey as The Bachelorette and continue with the usual formula we've been seeing. Not that I'm throwing any shade at Kelsey or that she would be bad in the role, just that it would have meant more of the same. With Claire, we're getting an older than normal lead who's so far been more focused on her personal career and happiness than on hitting it big on the gram. Which, while her page does have some hashtag ad stuff on it, at first glance there are more pictures of her dogs than links to skincare products. Which will also be my second positive spin. She's a dog person, so, you know, Maybe we'll see some dogs on the show. The third positive spin I'm taking is that this means, likely, there's going to be a wider age range of contestants. And isn't variety the spice of life? Now, The Bachelor has been receiving a lot of criticism from fans for casting young, young contestants on the show. And while age is but a number, Usually life experiences equals knowing yourself and what you want. It just is more years under my belt, more learning and knowing what I want, what I don't want, yep. and what I won't settle for. And when you're there, you're truly ready to settle down. So I'm hopeful that this means a change in pace with the drama and an opportunity for genuine romance to take center stage once again. Oh, and don't worry, whatever goes down, there will be drama. It will come out. Be certain of that. Never doubt the people at The Bachelor's ability to create dramatic television. Even if Claire wasn't their first choice, you can be sure that no matter what the scenario is, the producers know what they're doing and how to get something good for TV. My last positive spin is this. This is different. And I love different. And I mean different in that it's breaking from the trajectory the show seems to have been headed in and is choosing someone who's serious about love and not going to take any BS. We never talk really together. Why, all, all, only why are you talk. telling me how I feel? I'm not sure. Someone who's experienced the Bachelor world and how it works. This won't be her first rodeo. And hopefully that means she'll know when not to take any shenanigans from the producers. If that's the case, this could turn out to be one of the more promising seasons to date. So that's the video. 
everything you need to know about The Bachelorette Claire Crawley and why you should care. I hope you enjoyed it, and be sure to like and subscribe if you did. Now amidst all this exciting Bachelorette news, there's still a women tell-all for Peter's season happening tonight. And of course, a whole other week to go before the finale. So keep tuned to the channel as there's a ton more Bachelor content coming your way. Until then, Bachelor Fantake, out. What you just made me go through, mm -hmm. I would never want my children having a father like you. Okay.